like when you get a job, they won't tell you, oh, what do you prefer? How do you prefer? Do you prefer looking at it or do you prefer reading it? They're just going to tell you, read this, do this, or <laughs> look at this, do like this, or something. And then, so you kind of have to get used to different types of uh, learning styles. But also, I'm not completely agreeing with you in what you are saying with uh, that maybe you should challenge other t or be better at some. Yeah, or kind of, I kind of agree, but I think that um, that what you prefer as a learning style doesn't mean that you are necessarily bad at the others. So if uh, someone um, wants to learn by audio, maybe they are good readers and writers as well. So maybe they, I don't know, maybe you don't really need to challenge them in all different types because maybe they are good or it's, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just prefer it that fair, way. Fair enough, and, and I think yeah. that, uh, especially at your level, I mean, at the lower levels, is, is, is would be uh, unfair to the student, but at your level, I think the most important decision is the one you make. And you're absolutely right in that, when you get when you work, they they won't care what your style is. They will give it to you. But when you're hired, they would see if you have if you are the person that will be able to deal with the types of jobs you get. So you may yeah. so if you have a certain yeah, style, you may be preferred for certain jobs, but for other jobs. So yeah. it's not totally. I mean, there are no, the, the, so by by selection, you you do get maybe the type of challenges that are within your style because you were selected because of that mm -hmm. style. So yeah, it's a yeah. bigger picture. But, but definitely, yeah, I agree with you. And, and I think, uh, especially at your level, it's more important what you want. Um, I mean, because there's one set of thinking saying, okay, you should optimize your strengths. You shouldn't worry about your weaknesses. You optimize your strengths. And, and you may want to say, this is what I want to do. This is where that motivates me. This is where I really want to be strong. And I just have to live with the fact that I might be strong with others. Or, or I'm strong, but it doesn't trigger me as much. But being aware, awareness individually. And I think that uh, Simon talked about last week, the agency that games will give you. And, and we would like your team to be in control. And, and we give you some uh, some models, some, uh, some understanding, and, and challenge you to just make a decision of what you want to do. So yeah, I mean, one of, the, <clears throat> one of the, the, the things to think about here is also that it's um, you're bringing up kind of the non-zero sum nature of this. Right? So you were saying that you could be prefer an oral, but could be good at the other areas, um, which would mean the size of your graph is bigger. Right? I can be good at a lot of things and even better at that. There may be some people who are just shit at everything. Right? And it's not the case that everybody is going to have the same area under their graph. Right? So that I, I'm a good learner. I will, I will learn almost any environment you put me in. I can, I can learn in any one of those. Right? It's, it's something I'm just happy to be good at. Right? Um, and I know there are some people who they prefer one style, but even in that style, I'm still better than them. Right? Because I'm just good at everything. Right? And it, well, <coughs> not even. But um, I'm, I'm a good learner. That's what I, I, I don't necessarily reflect as much as I should, but I, I do learn well. But there are some people who just aren't as good. And it's not just a learning style that's issue, it's also just that they don't, don't have the area. And again, so focusing on one doesn't mean you necessarily need to pull the others down. So you're not got this kind of volume conserving thing where if I'm going to get stronger this way, I'm going to have to weaken these ones. Right? So it doesn't. So you can actually grow your learning ability in all areas. And so that's what. So, so if you look at the uh, the learning style questionnaire, you can have twenty of all of them. You could fill up the whole square because the questions either they contribute to one dimension or it doesn't contribute. It's not that if you contribute high on one, it's going to be low on the other. No. So some it's of them are relatively conflicting. You'd have to be kind of a bit odd to answer yes to that. That's say. a different story. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be going, really? Do I think it? Yeah. yeah it's a... Okay. Let's have a break then. If there are no other comments or questions about the paper. Okay. Fifteen minutes.